This video demonstrates the basic steps needed to move a field device from a faulty I.O. channel to an unused good channel. Before moving a channel or field device, let's discuss some considerations. For example, block folder address priority. Expand the AS project, then the AS or automated system, and then expand the CPU. And finally, the program folder of your automation station. Now we can right click the blocks folder and open its properties window. Select the Address Priority tab to show the symbolic name Absolute Address Priority Scheme. Verify that the bottom right box is checked, placing priority on symbolic names. This setting guarantees that the symbolic names in the charts won't get lost if you delete a symbol to move it to another channel. When done, close the window. Next, let's consider the download of any channel changes you make. You won't need to stop the CPU when downloading the I.O. change if you have a redundant H system or CIR configured. For example, select the AS, then double-click the hardware object to the right. This opens hardware configuration. Select an example we plan on moving a channel assigned to a module in the ET200M. Selecting it will show the installed modules at the bottom. If the CIR object is at the bottom of the module list, then you should be able to download changes without stopping the CPU. Let's also consider if the channel you're planning to move is part of a diagnostic group. In this example, we'll plan on moving one of the field devices from a failed channel on the first DI module. If we double-click the module to open it, and select the Inputs tab, we'll see that each channel is part of a two-channel group. If a channel has failed, then the diagnostics and electronics of the group it belongs to might also be suspect. You might consider moving all channels of the group. Cancel out of the Properties window. If we right-click the first I.O. module in the ET200M, and then select Edit Symbols. The Edit Symbols window opens. In this example, we'll move the symbol from channel 0 at address input 0.0, .0 shown in line 1 to channel 4 at address input 0 0.4, shown in line 5. Close Edit Symbols and close Hardware Config. To see the usage of VLV311, double-click the CFC test valve to open it. When the test valve chart opens, we'll scroll to the left margin and locate the symbol VLV311 underscore permit, shown connected to address input 0.0. .0. In this example, We'll edit the symbol name directly in the Symbol Editor. It can be opened from here by selecting the Options menu and selecting Open Symbol Table. When the Symbol Editor opens, select the Address column to sort the list by its absolute address. Click Yes to the warning about not being able to undo. Then scroll to find the symbol VLV311 underscore permit at address input 0.0. The address we're going to move it to is input 0.4, and in this example already has a symbolic name configured. We can now select the address entry of the symbolic name we want to move and change it to input 0 
Then click in a different cell for the change to take effect. Notice now that Symbolic Editor identifies the absolute address input 0.4 has been used twice. Right-click the line number of DI4, our generic symbol we don't need, and select Delete to remove the duplicate entry. Now confirm the deletion, and the symbolic name with the duplicate address is gone. Save the edited symbolic table, and then close the symbolic editor. Notice that the symbolic name, VLV311 underscore permit, is still at address input 0.0. .0. You can now synchronize the charts to the symbolic table by clicking the Options menu and selecting Synchronize with Symbol Table. Notice that the VLV311 underscore permit symbol is now configured to address input 0.4. Synchronization of the charts to the symbolic table will also happen when the CFC editor is closed. If we open the Hardware Configuration Editor again, select the ET200M station, right-click the I.O. module that contains VLV311 underscore permit, and select Edit Symbols, you'll see that the synchronization has happened everywhere. Close the Edit Symbols window. Now you can download the hardware configuration change. If you have CIR configured, you can download in Run Mode. Read and acknowledge the warning indicating that the last input-output values will be held for a maximum of one second. This is typically much shorter. Close Hardware Config. Finally, we only need to physically move the field device wires from channel 0, which is input 0.0, .0 to channel 4, which is input 0.4.